I had a question from a client recently about the differences and different roles in the music industry when it comes to the studio, from producers to mixers to engineers and live sound. So I thought I'd make a video about the differences. And in these days, a lot of people can be all of them in one. So let's discuss. Hello everyone and welcome to Distinct Mastering. My name is Freddie. I'm a mastering engineer, producer, DJ, and president of Sleeping Giant Music. For over two decades, I've helped artists grow their careers, and now I'm here to help you with your music production skills. Now let's chat about the different roles in the studio. Okay, the first step when getting live music recorded is to be working with a recording engineer. Now many recording engineers can wear many other hats, but recording engineers are very skilled at live recording. At the end of the day, their knowledge is really about live sound, using different microphones, preamps, and getting quality recordings in preparation for a solid mix. Now, a lot of recording engineers can be producers, executive producers, and mixers as well. You know, I'm not saying that you can only be one of these things, but let's be mindful that there are some recording engineers that just specialize in that. There are also live sound engineers that just specialize in live sound, that tour with many famous artists all the time. And so there's very, very many different aspects into studio and live sound when it comes to different types of people that you can be. So the recording engineer is kind of the first stage in the studio side of getting music recorded. Now, if you're making music electronically, you may not need to use live recordings, but if you have a vocalist, you might be using a microphone. Therefore, you're stepping into the territory of a recording engineer. Okay, the next step in the music creation process is the mixing engineer. Now, many recording engineers can also be the mixing engineer. So that being said, the mixing engineer takes all the recorded tracks or the electronically produced tracks and mixes them together to make sure that they're all balanced and everything has a place. I'm not gonna get into the specifics of actual mixing, but do understand that there are some mix engineers that just specialize in this specific area of the music creation process. There's some very, very famous ones out there too. And mix engineers can make or break a song. So if you're unsure of how to mix a record, I suggest you do take it to a professional. That goes the same with the recording process and then the mixing process. So you kind of have both of those aspects there. Now the next stage in the process is the mastering stage and that's when you're talking about mastering engineers. I didn't make this video to talk about mastering engineers specifically, but that is something that I specialize in here at Distinct Mastering. And you want to go to a skilled mastering engineer that knows what they're doing when it comes to mastering. So they can take back things from the mix and the recording and give you a solid master. Now, the mastering is only going to be as good as the two prior things, so it's very important that you find a mastering engineer that you like to work with and that does quality work. Now, I do want to touch on producers because that word can get a little jumbled up, and that was the main point of making this video. One thing about producers back in the day when you would use the term, you would usually refer to that as an executive producer who would oversee the whole record. They may not actually ever touch the mixing board or touch the microphones like the recording engineer or the mix engineer, but they would be there overseeing all of the artists and all of the engineers and making sure things are flowing and they have the overall vision for the record or the album. So that was the term for the producer back in the day or better known as the executive producer. Nowadays, a producer can mean many things because you have electronic music producers that basically wear all of the hats that I just described before. And I myself do that as well for some of the clients that I work with because I may start with the recording or the production process for them and all the way up to the mixing and mastering. So I wanted to explain these differences for people that don't quite know. Although most people do know this stuff, it's not common knowledge. It is a quick Google search away, but the term producer can get very jumbled up. So once again, I thought I'd make a quick video to explain these differences. Now, mind you, it can get a little more detailed than that. I didn't want to get too caught up in the weeds, but just so you understand the differences between all of the different hats in the music production space. And that's a brief overview on the differences between the recording engineer, the mix engineer, the mastering engineer, and the different types of a producer. If you have any questions, be sure to shoot me a comment down below. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and the bell notification will keep you up to date. Once again, my name is Freddie from Distinct Mastering, and have a great day.